Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing New Year's resolutions, specifically um, tips to that I think are helpful to sticking to them. Um, I'm not an expert on sticking to New Year's resolutions. I don't always stick to mine. Um, some years are better than other years and it also depends on the resolution as well. Um, some of them work better for me than others do. But I was really thinking about it and thinking about um, just in when the ones that are successful, what helped them to be successful. And so I think these tips will be helpful. Um, they are things that I'm gonna be sticking to and thinking about when I make my resolutions for this year, which I've already been thinking about that as well. And I am gonna tell you a few of mine at the end of the video. I do think that sometimes New Year's resolutions can get a bad rap. I think that um, maybe sometimes people can look at them in a negative way if they're just used to not keeping them or if it makes them feel bad about themselves if they don't keep them or something like that, which I don't think is a good way to look at it. Um, but I find that New Year's resolutions can be a really helpful tool in just kind of being mindful about what you want your year to look like. There's something about the new year, the, the start of a brand new year that's absolutely inspiring and makes you want to just do better in certain areas. So I think that it would be just kind of a waste to not use the new year as a time to reflect on how you're doing in your life and maybe what you want to change or what you don't or you know, whatever. So without further ado, let's get into my tips. Tip number one is don't make too many resolutions because I feel like if you make too many, then it's, um, it's too overwhelming. It's too crazy to think that you have to overhaul all of these different things in your life and just change everything. And I also think that it um, makes you maybe think too negatively about it. It's too easy to feel like bad about yourself and bad about your life if you're thinking about, oh my gosh, I have to change all of these things. Like I'm doing all of these things wrong all of these things are not going right. So I think it's too easy to feel that way and feel negative about resolutions if you make way too many. So I would not do that. I would pick no more than five things that you really want to focus on, that you really want to be able to put your energy into and um, you know, take it in smaller chunks like that. And I think part of the problem that I've had in the past is I have made too many. I would think about every single area in my life that I wanted to fix, every last thing that I thought that I should be doing better. And so I would make this huge long list of New Year's resolutions and then that almost sets you up for failure because there's no way that you're just gonna completely overhaul your entire life you know, in a year. <laughs> so I do think it's definitely better to just pick a few that um, are areas that you think that you can work on over time. Tip two is to make resolutions that inspire you and make them in a positive way. So um, definitely don't pick resolutions just because you feel you should pick that resolution. Um, pick something that's actually inspiring to you. If you think about your life this next year, what you want to do or how you want to better yourself or something that beautiful that you want to add into your life, pick a few of them that are going to be inspiring to you and then as you say them in your head, say it in a positive way, don't say it in a negative way. For example, if you wanted to eat more healthy, don't say, oh, I have to stop eating junk food this year. And instead say something like, I'm gonna focus on including more vegetables every week or whatever. But definitely do it some in a way that's gonna make you feel more inspired about it and not feel like it's a negative thing, you know, that you have to do now as part of your life. number three would be to make them fit your life and um, kind of what I mean by that is a couple of different things so for example if you want to start working out um, and you want to put exercise as one of your resolutions but you don't have the money to go to the gym then I wouldn't say oh, I'm gonna start going to the gym because obviously I'm not gonna do that don't make it in a way that you're gonna absolutely hate the thought of it so if it's already hard for you to work out then don't just say oh I'm gonna start working out you know, six days a week, because that's gonna make you up, you're gonna dread that. If you don't like working out, there's no way you're gonna wanna start working out six days a week. So it wouldn't make sense to make it something that's gonna automatically set you up for failure because you're automatically dreading it. So if you wanna start exercising, then I would start small and I would say, okay, like let me start by taking a walk every day after dinner or, you know, something like that. Figure out ways to make your resolution actually work for you and don't make them something that's unrealistic that you know you're not gonna be able to stick to doing. So, like for me, I definitely would not incorporate any kind of running because I can't stand running, so I would never make a resolution that would include any kind of exercise that I hated, like running. <laughs> I think it's really important to kind of take stock of yourself and your surroundings and 
you know, you know how you are and you know how you work and you know if something's gonna work for you or not work for you. So definitely try to do it in a way that will work for you. I think you need to push yourself to try and try to stick to something, um, but do it in a way that's, that's gonna work out if, in the long run. I think that you need to do it gradually and remember that this is something you're inspired, like you're aspiring to change in your life. So gradual will get you there, which I just realized is also tip number four. <laughs> which is to do it gradually. So I kind of put three and four together, which is to make it fit into your life and to do it gradually. So oh, I don't think that you need to, all of a sudden it's January, so you've completely changed and now this is the new you. Trying to overhaul everything at once is going to just overwhelm you and you know, you're not gonna wanna stick to it. Back to if like, for example, if exercise is one of your resolutions, I would, and you don't exercise at all, then start slow. Start off with walking or start off with, you know, trying something at home maybe once a week and then go to twice a week. You see what I'm saying? Like build it up gradually. Um, it's a lot easier to stick to something that way. And I think if you start in one level and then kind of get yourself there to where it's, it's second nature to you, then you kind of increase it at that point so that you're not taking on too much at one time to make you feel overwhelmed where you don't want to do it anymore. Hopefully these will be things that you change long term. So do it gradually, start small, increase a little bit at a time, and I think that that will help to meet those goals better rather than it just not working out for you. Which leads me to tip number five, which is if you mess up, just start over. <laughs> I feel like too many people feel like if they get off the bandwagon within the first month, then they're just done and that's just it and they just failed. And it doesn't make any sense because you have so much more time, not even in the rest of the year, but in the rest of your life in general. So it wouldn't make any sense to, to just stop doing it because you didn't do it perfectly. I think that if you, um, if you mess up, then okay, like it happened. <laughs> so then the next day, just pick it back up. and. I also think that if you're doing the gradual thing, then it'll be easier to start back up again. It'll be easier not to stop completely if you're just kind of increasing things a little bit at a time. So definitely don't give up if you if you mess up a couple times or if you forget about it. Even if like you totally, totally went off of all of your resolutions like up through June, who cares? Like just start again in July. Is June, is July after June? July is after June, right? June, July, okay. Yeah, so just start again in July and just pick it back up. There is a quote that Walt Disney said, which I am such a huge fan of Walt Disney. He is an absolute inspiration to me, so I find his quotes to also be inspiring. And um, one of the things that he said, which is a pretty famous quote, was the difference between winning and losing is often not quitting. So just don't quit. If you don't quit, you are going to succeed. Maybe it's gonna take you a little longer than you hoped it would, but you will succeed. Just don't quit and keep at it. Don't derail all of your hopes and your, your dreams for success just because you didn't stick to something perfectly. Start over, start again the next week, start again the next day, and do it gradually and you will see results. Just don't quit. I think we owe it to ourselves to pursue bettering ourselves and to pursue living well. So um, I think resolutions can be a great tool to do that. And um, as long as you look at them in a positive way and don't let them just completely rule your life. I think resolutions are something that can absolutely be a very powerful thing and I wish you guys all luck with it. So those were my five tips for sticking to your New Year's resolutions. Um, I know that it kind of seemed all over the place, so I hope that you got something out of it. I hope something in there was beneficial to you. And um, if you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments below because like I said, I'm not always perfect with this and I don't always stick to my resolutions. Sometimes I do, sometimes I have trouble with it. So I think that um, tips would be helpful and I hope some of these helped you. On to some of my resolutions for this year. Um, one of them is gonna be to read 35 books. I'm on track right now to read 30 books this year and so I wanted to increase it a little bit for next year and see if I could hit that. Um, another one of my resolutions is to start uploading a video to YouTube once a week. I really want to focus on my channel and um, putting out content and making sure that I have one once a week I think is going to be um, just helpful and it's a goal that I have now. Another resolution of mine is a little bit difficult to explain. I want to incorporate more pursuit of beauty, pursuit of knowledge. <clears throat> I want to make it like a purposeful pursuit to seek out things of the arts and learn more about 
you know, um, famous authors and poetry. I already have a huge love of history, so I want to really pursue that more this year. I want to learn more. I just want to incorporate learning and art and beautiful things and just kind of purposefully make sure that I'm including those things into my life to try to find more beauty wherever I can. And then the last uh, resolution that I'm going to share is that I want to start every single day actually sticking to using my planner. I've tried to use planners before in the past and I always kind of started out well in the beginning of the year and then didn't finish or for some reason stopped doing it, which I don't understand why. So I want to do that this year. I want to really be focused and dedicated because I feel like the only real way that you can you know, get as much done as you want or achieve the success that you want is by per like being purposeful about it and making sure that you're putting the attention to doing it. And I think that writing it out in a planner is going to be a really helpful way to do that. So I did go to Michael's today and I got a planner. This is the planner that I got and it has the princesses on the front and it says, let your dreams lead the way. And I just think it's so beautiful and so inspiring. So I'm hoping to um, actually stick to writing in it this year. At first I was like, I wonder if it's a little bit too juvenile, if I should be going with like a more grown up looking planner, but it's so beautiful and it just brings me so much joy. So I figured why not because I love it. And it's really cool because it has um, various different pictures of the princesses inside as well as quotes like this one which says, see the good in all things. Here's another one with Aurora and it says, let your dreams lead the way, which is the quote from the cover. And then Tiana, who is one of my absolute favorite princesses, and it says follow your heart on it. So I just think it's so, so cute, and I just love it so much. So that is definitely a resolution of mine to actually utilize this and make it work for my life and, you know, just make it to help me to stick to the things that I want to do and really be purposeful about living my life. And I just want that to be, like, that's my dream every day. So I'm hoping that this is going to really help me this year to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that some of these tips will be helpful for you. Um, if you have success with your New Year's resolutions, I'd love to hear about that too. You can always come back to this video and leave a comment as well. I'm excited for this new year. I'm excited for all these things that I'm trying to do and um, I'm excited to see what happens this year, where this year goes. I know that this past year has been crazy um, and who knows what this new year is going to bring, but I do think that it's worth it to just be hopeful and excited about life in general. So I'm definitely excited about this next year and I hope you guys are too. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!